Mm. So Moses, give us just a sense. I know this can, I was a country director myself before, and I know this can be a hard question to answer because there's, there's so many different aspects to it, but give us just a bit of a sense of the, the needs that are present there in Rwanda and maybe in, in particular the, the kinds of needs that World Relief is seeking to address in particular, kind of the, the focus of y'all's efforts there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the, as you've said, uh, the needs are, are huge and uh, we are trying to see what is it different uh, that we can do together. And one of the things that we've really seen that with the size of the issues that we are facing globally, even at the country level, that there is no uh, one institution, one organization, one church that is going to solve it. So one of our core um, beliefs and core areas of intervention is building church unity across different denominations and trying to bring these uh, brothers and sisters from different denominations to really get to a place of realizing that we need to respect Respect each other for our differences, mm -hmm. but focus uh, on the issues in our community because poverty does not pick on the Anglicans and skip the Presbyterians. It's mm -hmm. a common issue. Mm -hmm. Same to malaria, same to HIV. COVID did not set according to denominations. So these issues affect each one of us irrespective of the churches we come from. So bringing these churches together to build unity and collaboration and addressing these uh, needs in the community is one of our core areas of interventions. And uh, this is so that they can fight issues like poverty. We have close to 40% uh, percent of our population that is below the poverty line. That means they can make $2 uh, per day. We have over 33% of our children under five years who are malnourished. And that means we have to do everything it takes to make sure that uh, every child at least has an opportunity to have a balanced meal and not only one meal, but at least more than uh, three meals a day. So mm. that's a huge uh, undertaking that we are engaging the church uh, into, but also access to uh, clean water. You can have resources, you can have um, some income, but if you don't have clean water, it will still uh, affect you. So these are some of the ways we're engaging, but we are also trying to make sure that uh, this effort is not led by the pastors only, but unlocking the potential of the entire church that there are more members of the church involved uh, into community transformation. 